Hey guys, I just wanted to share with you some of the stuff that I've been working on uh, with Vince here. It's a program that's going to help with anti-flinch visual memory. We're going to be doing some specialized training for his fight that's next week, next Friday, November 16th. And I don't want to do anything that messes with his current fight camp, right? He's been training two a days, three a days sometimes uh, with his own fight team. So I don't want to contradict any of that stuff. I don't want to give him too much to think about. And I also don't want to physically exert him too much because he's on a very strict regimen. So take a look at some of the stuff that we're going to do and you'll notice that it's very visual based. It's very mental based. So take a look, take some notes, and uh, we'll be back in a couple minutes. This here is the uh, Synaptex strobe glasses. There's buttons on the side here that change the flicker, which will blind you for a split second. Plus he looks really cool too. <laughs> Neo. There we go. Okay, so this one is permanently off and this one is flickering. So what this would emulate is maybe a bloody eye, right? Maybe he got caught and his eyes starting to swell and he can't see out of that eye. And visual memory is seeing something, telling your body how to react and reacting quickly off of that. So reaction time but keeping your eyes open and these goggles will do exactly that, force your eyes to stay open. So what we're gonna do now, do this with a focus mitt, but what I prefer is the all strike. I, don't, I think they discontinued these. I don't think they make them anymore. It's pretty trippy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how's it, how's it feel? What are you, what are you thinking? Oh, it's cool. I mean, it definitely, it forces me to, I mean, we talked about flow state before. Yeah. It forces me to be in the zone. There you go. fist bump yeah. you can't say. <laughs> okay, you can take those off for now. Cool. The whole idea here is, when you think about the best fighters, the Floyd Mayweathers, the Muhammad Ali's, when their back's up against the ropes, they do this with their eyes. That's why I like this piece of equipment, because it's gonna force your eyes to stay open. Mm -hmm. Your eyelids are your last line of defense. And if you do this to a dog, a dog's gonna flinch and the eyes are gonna close. It's just reaction, right? We don't wanna get hit, our eyes are vulnerable, but the longer that we can keep our eyes open, obviously we don't wanna get hit in the cornea or the superficial part of the eyeball, but the eyelids are the last line of defense. However, if we can see the punch coming in, it's the ability to see it and know how to roll with the shot, mm -hmm. take some of the steam off of it to defend, but then also see the counter uh, that's available for you to, to land the shot. And it's always those shots that you don't see. Those are the knockout blows. Exactly. And those are the ones that people get afraid of. I remember, you know, like when you first start training, you first start sparring, you don't know what's going to happen, so you are flinching. And when you're getting hit with those shots that you don't see coming, you can't brace for them, you're not ready for them. Even if I see a shot coming, I know like, oh man, I'm going to get cracked. I can at least roll with it and exactly. go, go right into my next thing. I think the Diaz brothers are, are two of the best at that because they, they take a lot of hits, but they also keep fighting and they rarely get knocked out. I think mm -hmm. Nate only got stopped once by Josh Thompson, but it was he, he sees the punches coming in. His eyes are always wide open. Yeah. It takes a lot of damage, like I said, but it's, it's being able to do this and then, like you said, being available there for the counter. Thank you, brother, great work. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So some of this stuff is proprietary. We talk about how we save some stuff that we don't share on the fight tips, um, but I wanted, to, uh, I wanted to just share some of the footage so you guys can get a feel for um, some of the drills that we do, spe specialty, specialty training uh, for, for fighters. Support Vince, like I said, he's got a fight next Friday, November 16th, LFA. He's defending his undefeated record, and then after that, this man's gone. This man's going places, and I want you guys to support him. Link's in the description below if you're in the Southern California area. Come watch. We'll be there. Um, if not, it's going to be live on Access TV. Until then, I'm Shane. I'm Vince. Fight tips for the underdogs.